The goal of a Remote Device Management System, or RDM, is to fully manage, update, secure, monitor, and analyze Remote Intelligent Electronic Devices, or IEDs, of all types at all locations. As electric utilities continue to install additional intelligent devices, maintaining them using traditional methods such as sending a technician in becomes cost prohibitive. Furthermore, the ability to gather information and status of these remote devices on a minute-by-minute -minute or even second-by-second -second basis is required. The Remote Device Management Utility Requirements Research Project used a survey to gather system requirements. Eleven responses were received from nine member companies. This video highlights requirements for key RDM system functions, device to be managed, and asset inventory. The associated report identifies the remaining requirements in more detail. The survey identified key RDM system functions. The highest rank functions were comprehensive security features, data collection, including alarms and alerts, compliance reporting, and password management. Devices to be managed included substation meters, GPS clocks, microprocessor relays, and power quality meters. Asset inventory refers to the ability of the RDM system to automatically retrieve and store details about the intelligent electronic device. The priority items to capture were the following, IED manufacturer, make and model number, operating system and version, hardware version, IPv4 address, current IED firmware, and installed firmware version and date. Other topics of interest, such as configuration management, firmware management, password management, architectural requirements, and communications protocols can be found in the report. In conclusion, comprehensive security features top the list of required system functions. This was followed by data collection and compliance reporting. However, some small surprises in the responses included some respondents indicating that not all IEDs needed to be monitored and that automated file extraction was not always needed. EPRI would like to thank the following member utilities for participating in this project. Central Hudson Gas and Electric, Consolidated Edison of New York, First Energy Service Company, Great River Energy, Nebraska Public Power District, Portland General Electric, The Salt River Project, Southern Company, and the Tennessee Valley Authority.